Today we are going to discuss how to remove and reinstall a frame mounted 4-point B75 or B90 backhoe from your YT-235, YT-347 or YT-359 tractor. We will discuss the key points of safety, controls, removal, proper storage and reinstallation. Before operating the tractor, be sure to read and understand all operating and safety instructions in the operator's manual, as well as those posted on the machine. When performing these steps, make sure to wear safety gloves and safety shoes, eye protection and hearing protection as appropriate. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing or anything that could become caught in the machine during operation. First, position the tractor on a hard and level surface. Doing so will aid in the reinstallation. Now let's remove the backhoe. Once the tractor is positioned, remove the swing lock pin and transport bar to allow the boom and arm to move. Warning: Use extreme caution when moving the hydraulic controls. Never place yourself between moving components. With the tractor running, center the backhoe boom in line with the tractor. Lower the stabilizers enough to take the weight off of the subframe pins. Then lower the backhoe boom and arm, forming a 90 degree angle. Rest the bucket on the ground. Remember that having the bucket flat on the ground will assist in removal and reinstallation. For easy access to hydraulic connections and pins, you will want to remove the backhoe seat. After that, remove the click pin assembly also known as a linchpin assembly. Relieve pressure from the pins by slowly moving the boom, arm, or stabilizers. You will know when the pressure has been removed when the pins move freely by hand. Next, you will remove the subframe pins. Use the stabilizers to slowly lift the backhoe out of the frame hooks. Then, move the tractor slightly forward to clear the backhoe brackets. Pay close attention to the hydraulic lines. Pulling forward too far may permanently damage lines or cause the lines to break. Place blocks under the backhoe mainframe. Blocks should be 6 inches. Use the stabilizers to lower the backhoe onto the blocks, making sure not to leave any hydraulic pressure on the cylinders. The boom and arm should remain at a 90 degree angle. Lower the engine speed to idle and turn off the tractor. Disconnect the hydraulic pressure and return hoses. Connect the tractor pressure and return lines to complete the hydraulic circuit. Warning. Failure to join the tractor pressure and return lines could cause damage to the hydraulic system. Also, join the backhoe pressure and return lines to protect the hose couplings. This will prevent dirt, moisture and other foreign matter from entering the hydraulic system. Once the backhoe is removed, ensure that you have a slow moving vehicle sign on the rear of your tractor. If yours is mounted on the backhoe, remember to move it to the tractor. Now we are ready to reinstall the backhoe. With the tractor running, back the tractor into position. Lower engine speed to an idle and turn it off. Disconnect the pressure and return lines of the tractor and the backhoe. Connect the pressure and return lines from the tractor to the backhoe. Start the tractor. Using the backhoe boom, arm, bucket and stabilizers, lift the backhoe to above the bottom hooks. Back the tractor up to position the backhoe to sit in the lower hooks of the subframe. Be mindful not to put excessive tension on the hydraulic lines when moving the machine. Now, using the backhoe stabilizers and boom, slowly lower the backhoe into the lower hooks. 
Next, use the backhoe controls to slowly adjust position to align the upper holes in the backhoe frame with those in the subframe. Once they are aligned, insert and clip the subframe mounting pins. If correctly aligned, they should install easily by hand. If not already mounted, install the slow moving vehicle sign on the backhoe. After that, reinstall the seat, seat pin, and locking pin at the desired height. Also, be sure to remove the blocks from under the backhoe and properly store. Finally, if you will be traveling, remember to reinstall the click pin assembly, swing lock, and transport lock. The YT tractors are designed with versatility in mind. When you need a backhoe, it is easy to install. When you need to install other attachments, it is easy to remove. Always remember to practice safety and happy digging. We'll see you next time at the Yanmar Academy.